think it's pretty much a given that you know who Mario is. He's the single most recognizable character in video game history. Even people outside of the gaming world know exactly who he is. The first game he ever appeared in was the 1981 arcade hit Donkey Kong. Although he hadn't been properly named yet, he was assigned the generic Jumpman. The object is to save Pauline, the chicken distress, from the evil ape Donkey Kong, who plans on doing who knows what with her. In the Atari 2600 port, there are two screens. In the first one, you ascend the level, almost in shoots and ladders form, while leaping over barrels being rolled by Donkey Kong. And in the second screen, you take apart the scaffolding by walking or jumping over the trap doors on the floor while avoiding the ducks that weave back and forth. They're supposed to be flaming ghosts, but I'm just gonna call them ducks. Once you activate all the switches, you've won. In both levels, you can grab a hammer that you can use for a short period of time to destroy the barrels of ducks. The only thing is, you're prohibited from climbing the ladders at this point. So in the first level, you can only clear a path up to the end of this beam, and in the second level, you can only take out one duck. The point system is a little weird, not so much in attainment, but in display. You would think that the four digit number up top would be a point total, but it's not. That's your timer. It starts out at 5000 and ticks down by the 100, and when it reaches zero, you die. How it works is, the total number left on your timer is added to your point total, which you'll build up from jumping over barrels, breaking them apart, and activating the trap doors. But why the hell can you never see how many points you have? It really couldn't have been a big deal to show both. Of course the game isn't going to match up with the arcade version graphically, especially on Donkey Kong, he looks like a red gingerbread man, and Pauline's hair really should have been a different color than her skin, but the visual inferiorities are to be expected. The letdown is that they scrapped two of the screens from the original arcade. The thing that sucks in the second level is that the ducks will sometimes change direction out of nowhere, so while you're jumping over them, they'll sneak back under you and you'll land on them and die. The trick is to bait them over by the trap door and leap over them and the door at the same time. Be sure to leave some space between you and the trap before jumping, and leap when you see the duck just make contact with the trap. That way they don't change direction on you. Once you activate the trap, they can't cross the gap, making the other trap in the floor walk in the park. You end up back at the first stage and go back around the horn. Unfortunately, the difficulty doesn't increase and there are no difficulty settings to toggle before each game either. Despite all the holes in this ship, this is still an okay game. People will crap on it because it's the weakest version of the original game, but in the end it's still Donkey Kong. A simple but effective classic watered down a bit to accommodate the limitations of a home console although they could have squeezed some of the water out of the sponge.